Hi friends, my name is Baji. Welcome back to our channel. In our previous video, we covered some of the commonly used Linux native monitoring tools. If you haven't watched that video yet, I highly recommend watching it first before continuing with this video. In this video, we will cover the basics of application performance monitoring. You will learn what APM is, why it is important, its core features, various APM tools and more. So without any further delay, let's get started. So what is APM? APM stands for Application Performance Management or Application Performance Monitoring. It is a process of using software tools to monitor the performance of business critical applications. You might be thinking, why is it so important that every performance assessor is aware of it, isn't it? Everyday customer use apps to shop, stream TV shows and movies, connect to social media, manage finances and work. In this digital world, customers rely more than ever on these apps to conduct their daily lives. When an app crashes, is slow to load or does not load at all, users become frustrated, which can cause the business to suffer brand damage or loss revenue. APM is an effective solution for pinpointing where issues occur across an application. So, you can improve the customer experience by identifying areas that deliver maximum value to your end users. Even a few minutes of downtime can cause financial losses and frustrate customers. APM quickly finds and fixes performance problems, reducing downtime. This allows IT teams to spend more time creating the new applications instead of fixing old issues. IT teams use APM tools to figure out how much resources, infrastructure and computing power are needed to keep applications performing optimally. This helps keep operating costs low. Application performance monitoring tools can be used during a product's development. We can use APM in a test or production-like environment to monitor and analyze the application workloads, uncover limitations and identify errors. This way, development teams get useful insights and can fix bugs before the application goes live. Now, let's go over the different features of APM. APM tools can continuously track how well an application is performing by monitoring metrics like response times, error rates and throughput. APM tools can trace the individual user transactions or requests through various components of an application to identify bottlenecks or slow segments. APM tools can pinpoint the specific reason or reasons why an application is experiencing a performance problem. In addition to that, how performance issues affect the business and users. We can use APM tools to collect data from IT infrastructure such as servers by doing server monitoring and containers, databases, virtual machines and other backend systems. Now, let's look at some of the APM benefits. APM gives businesses increased visibility and intelligence into performance of applications and their dependencies to detect and pinpoint application performance issues before real users are impacted. It provides benefits in both technical and business areas. First, let's look at some of the technical benefits. APM ensures applications run smoothly and consistently, reducing unexpected downtimes and maintaining reliable services. This will increase the application stability. It minimizes the frequency of performance issues, leading to a more stable and dependable application environment. Because of this, number of performance incidents or issues will be reduced. It speeds up the detection and fixing of performance issues, reducing the time application experience performance problems and improving overall efficiency. It streamlines the development and release processes, allowing for quicker deployment of new features and improvements without sacrificing quality. It also optimizes the use of IT resources, ensuring that hardware and software infrastructure is used efficiently and effectively. Now, let's look at some of the business benefits. It enhances the efficiency of development and operations teams by reducing the time spent on troubleshooting and maintenance tasks. Instead of that, it allows them to focus on other important tasks. It frees up valuable time for teams to work on new features, improvements and innovative projects driving business growth and competitiveness. The teams can deliver new and interesting features to customers or clients. It enhances the overall experience for users by providing faster, more reliable and user-friendly applications leading to higher user satisfaction and retention. It contributes to higher business income by improving user satisfaction and retention, enabling faster time to market for new features and reducing downtimes that could impact sales. It lowers the costs associated with maintaining and running applications by optimizing resource use and reducing the need for extensive troubleshooting and manual intervention. 
applications. After hearing all these things, you must be wondering how to choose the right tool for the application or environment, isn't it? There are many factors to consider by the application or support teams before you integrate the APM tools into your non-production and production environments. Let's explore some of them. You need to make sure the teams understand why APM is being introduced and how it benefits them personally. You need to find a solution that fits it with existing systems and processes that the team is comfortable with. As there are so many APM solutions or tools available in the market, you need to introduce the right tool which supports your technology stack. And finally, the important factor that is cost. So you also need to ensure that you have the necessary budget for the APM tools management. Like I said, there are so many APM tools available in the market and some of them are Dynatrace, Neuralic, AppDynamics, Datadog, IBM Instana, AWS CloudWatch, Site 24 by 7. As part of this series, we will learn more about Dynatrace. Along with APM, we might also hear the term called observability. APM and observability are related concepts but have distinct focuses. Let's quickly look at the difference between APM and observability. Okay, APM primarily concentrates on monitoring and managing the performance of applications. It tracks specific metrics related to application performance such as response time, error rates, and transaction traces, etc. On the other hand, observability takes a wider view aiming to understand complex systems and solve issues effectively. It includes APM metrics but also look at logs, events and traces. Observability helps to understand system behavior better, making it easier to spot and fix issues throughout the entire system. In essence, APM is a subset of observability focusing on one section which is application performance while observability focuses on overall system behavior. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for staying till the end and supporting me. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions or want to share your experiences, feel free to leave a comment below. All the video notes have been uploaded in GitHub and you can find the link in the description. If you are new to our channel, please consider subscribing and also like and share this video so that others will also get benefited. I'll see you in the next video in this module. Until then, take care, stay safe and keep learning.